Hello everyone, today I will show you how to insert HTML form data to text file using PHP. Normally, you can insert your HTML form data to database, even you can insert your HTML form data to text file. Today in this video, I will show you how to insert HTML form data to text file using PHP. This is our HTML form. Now I will fill up the form, then I will submit the form. Now I will click on submit. Now I will go to the text file. Here you can see my name, email address and my address have been inserted in the text file and it is data.txt. That means we have inserted the HTML form data to the text file. Now I will show you the source code that will help you insert the HTML form data to text file instead of the database. So this is the insert.php file and first of all we have designed our form with HTML and CSS and this is very simple design. Here we can see our simple HTML CSS code. This is our HTML form and we have done it using the form tag. Of course, make sure that inside the form tag, you have taken the action. In action, you have to write down the PHP file name where the form will be inserted. And inside the method, you have to write down either post or get, but in form validation, we use the post. Here we have written down the post method. And here we can see the label. It means name, email, and address. And then we have taken the text box, and I mean the input field. These input field types are text. And we have written is input field a name. It is here you can see in name field we have write down its name, name, email, and address. By name we can easily call it. Uh, we have taken a submit button and of course you have to name it. We have given it a name and it is insert. So now I will show you the PHP code. So you can create an external PHP file but I have uh, written PHP code in this file. So first of all we have taken if is set post insert. It means that after filling the HTML form that means after filling this HTML form if I click on submit then what will be happened? In name variable will store the value of the name field email will store the email and address will store the address and here we have taken another variable and it is file path inside the file path and we can also add the file path like the folder and the text file name so inside the file path we have written down the name of the text file if you want to keep the text file into another folder you have to write down the directory name and I have taken the text file and the PHP file in the same folder. That's why I have written data.txt and you can write down any name of your text file. Then I have taken another variable and it is data. Inside, uh, we will write down is variable serially that we want to store. And we want to store in this sequence name, email and address. And we have written the comma to separate our data like this. Here you can see name email address if you write down the vertical bar like this i will fill up the form if i submit let's see here we can see our newly inserted data has been inserted like this okay you can use comma or you can use a vertical bar to separate is data we have taken another variable and it is file handle in this variable we have written a PHP function and it is if open. Uh, so if open is a function, it is used to open a text file using PHP. That means the data.txt is a text file. Now we want to open this text file at first before inserting. The if open function takes minimum two parameters. One is the path, that means the file path of the text file. And we have written the text file name and directory in file path this variable so we have to write down the file path variable then we have to write down a mode so there are several type of mode so mode parameter specifies how the file should be open 
and we have taken mode A. It means append. A means append. It helps to add new data to the end of the existing file. Okay. And then we have to write down another function and it is f write. So f write is a function. It is used to write data to an open file. So here we have taken the file. Now we have to write the data into the text file. To write data to a text file, we have to write down f write function and it will take also two parameters. One is file handle where we have opened the file and another variable is the data that we want to insert or that we want to write into the text file. So we have opened the text file and we have written the data into the text file. And finally, the f close, which is used to close the text file. In this way, you can easily insert the HTML form data to a text file. You can easily connect your website with text file. And this will also work like the database, okay? But this is not very good practice for a big project. But in short project, you can use text file instead of the database. So in this way, we can easily insert our HTML form data to text file.